Good morning, everybody. You know, I saw Senator Dick Durbin of Illinois saying that it's sad to see that Republicans are playing games, Republicans in the House are playing political games with Homeland Security. Meanwhile, what's been proposed here has an executive order for amnesty attached to it. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that, that as you guys are indicating, and, and, and Dana Perina did on Fox News Sunday, he's already got the authority anyway. This just waters down existing authority. So it's pretty clear who's playing political games, who's attaching political strings to this. Rob, what are you, and, what are you uh, referring to when you say there's an executive action for amnesty attached? Well, the, exec the executive action on the part of President Obama for amnesty is attached to the, to the signing off on of the Homeland Security uh, proposal here. And, 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 and by the way, as to Iraq, we were in mop-up there. That was all set. We had three national elections in Iraq. We had ministers of everything under the sun and a parliamentary system. Minister, Minister of Education, Environment, uh, you name it, Energy. We had we had a, a parliamentary system with three national elections. It was in mop-up mode, and then along comes Obama. He gets his hands on it, and now all hell is broken loose in Iraq and in the greater uh, Middle East. Okay. Uh, all right, Rob, well, let me, let me jump in because I think he's talking about two different issues. One is the AUMF that gives the president this new authority to fight ISIS. Then there's this other debate on our national security and funding for homeland security over the president's action on immigration. But Jennifer Deskill, what, comment on what he had to say there at the beginning about this debate. He has the president, he has the authority under 2001 AUMF, so why even have it on Capitol Hill? Right. So I think this, this, the, your question relates directly back to the prior question, which is about the importance of congressional engagement. So yes, he has the authority, but the authority is based on language that is directed at targeting those who were responsible for the September 11, 2001 attacks. Now, ISIL didn't exist on September 11th. The other main group that the United States is, is, is targeting right now, pursuant to this old authorization to use military force, is Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula in Yemen. That group also didn't exist on 2001. So, so I agree with the prior caller. It is time for Congress to get involved. It's time for the public to get involved and debate and discuss who is the enemy in this conflict and to provide the president updated authority as needed to fight the current enemy and not the enemy in 2001. Okay. John, Glenn.